Hello Exiles, this is Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming and today I'm going to show off a couple of different styles of auto bomber and go over a bunch of different methods you can use to create an auto bomber that isn't an elementalist. You can of course go elementalist and it's very easy uh, because of Shaper of Storms, Fire Burst will always shock when it hits and so all you have to do is literally have a Fire Burst weapon you want to staff not a wand, by the way. I did a wand. Um, you don't want a wand. You want a staff, because this is capped at a 4-link, whereas, as we'll go over later, you can get up to an 8-link pretty easily uh, if you use a staff. So you can double the damage links. But yeah, all you need is Herald of Thunder, Fire Burst, and Shaper of Storms. And I'll kind of show you what that looks like real quick. So you just walk up to packs. You don't really need to do anything. I like to press Phase Run in order to get some movement speed but yeah uh the whole screen dies um you know this effect <laughs> this method is effective even on the wand with the four link probably up into like yellow maps and of course if you get a staff it is going mana. to be very 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 viable so now that you've seen what the basic form is um, I will show you a different form and how to enable it using a variety of different interesting unique methods all right, and before I really show you my Inquisitor here, I just want to talk about what you need to do to get a Fire Burst weapon since I actually didn't mention that. So that is from an Essence of Hysteria. Um, the best way to farm Essence of Hysteria is to get uh, these Controlled Corruption and Amplified set up. So then you're able to basically uh, get Essences guaranteed and also there'll be a tier higher plus you have an additional chance for an extra essence and you can pay two chaos at the map machine to put two additional essences onto the map so between all those you're guaranteed at least three essence uh, mobs and then you just carry around your essence of corruption and you have a chance for screaming essences to corrupt into an essence of hysteria which will give you a uh, fire burst on hit now for this purpose, uh, you'll want to get an Elder Staff in order to create a, a Power Charge on Hit linked with the Fire Burst on Hit so that you can make an 8 link because we are going here for a crit version of the build. Ideally, you would use an Impulses. I'm using a Carcass Jack uh, just because I wanted to see what it looked like with more AoE. But... Ideally, you would use impulses to have better clear and not have to deal with like porcupines and things like that. But uh, you can use whatever chest you want. You can do low life, chevrones. You do not need link a linked chest. I literally just have uh, Stormbrand on here to uh, trigger against bosses would be the idea. But you would have your staff, which would have your 8 link. And yeah, all I have to do is flame dash in to get my first fire dash off and then it starts doing the thing and as you can see without the uh, the carcass jack doesn't increase the aoe so well that we kill everything unfortunately however uh if you have an impulses your clear is going to be really really good and how am i doing this outside of an elementalist well you see i am using uh the three dragons and the three dragons isn't the only way to do this but since we're critting a lot, our fire damage can shock. Uh, our crit chance on this is 72% without our diamond flask, so it's nearing 100% with the diamond flask. Which means, uh, pretty much every time we're fire bursting and killing stuff, that is going to be providing um, the proc for our Herald of Thunder, which will continue to uh, set off our auto bomber. That was Quicksilver for some reason. So yeah, we just keep auto-bombing here, and it plays just like anything else. Instead of Abrath's Hooves, uh, I just use Flame Dash to proc the first one, so I just Flame Dash into the first pack, and it works. So I'm going to demonstrate the second item now. Uh, that would be Yoke of Suffering. So I'm just going to take this helmet off entirely here. Um, yeah, I don't really need the Herald of Ash, but I guess I'll throw it in anyway. I was just using that for a little bit of extra clear. Okay, so same concept. I'm not wearing a helmet at all. And as you can see, we got the we got it going. 
Uh, and yeah, it's the exact same idea. And the reason for that is your elemental damage can shock. So I'll show that a little bit more. But uh, that allows our fire burst, which is an elemental skill, to uh, shock. So we just go for the first one there. And we're off to the races, same as before. We can just run through the map. It'll auto bomb. Um, and I'm really excited to see what this can do, what these, uh, what fire bursts can do on like an assassin that's super well geared and everything. This is just kind of a proof of concept. Um, on top of three dragons and yoke of suffering, there's actually more things that can allow this, uh, more uniques, but I couldn't find them in my standard stashes. So I either do not have them or they're buried within, you know, hundreds and hundreds, possibly thousands of stash tabs that I just can't be bothered to go through. So I'll go ahead and just pull up the uh, POE wiki pages on them here. Actually, you guys get the point. So get out of here. All right. There are two things. The first one, Xerfi's Heart. So, interesting thing about Xerfi's Heart is Chaos Damage can Ignite, Chill, and Shock. Um, and then you also add Chaos Damage. So it automatically add the Chaos Damage. Um, because we have Fire Burst, which I'll also pull up here, which has very, very good uh, damage effectiveness. 340% damage effectiveness and very high base damage, as well as 6% crit strike chance which helps a ton, and that'll go up to 8% with Assassin, and it's very easy to scale with Inquisitor, as you saw as well, so uh, you can get some crazy crit. Now, you have this, um, and you can just go ahead and walk through, and actually, you can uh, trigger Soul Leader over and over again, too, while you're at it. Uh, just put on any Vol skill, you're running around auto-bombing, um, and just trigger your Vol skills whenever they're off cooldown as well. So you get like Vol Spark or something going. Um, the hits will trigger Fire Burst with a one second cooldown. Because that's the downside to all of this. Is that Fire Burst has a one second cooldown. But you can lower that with cooldown reduction. Which is pretty nice. Uh, the next and last item. So, so far we have uh, Elementalist, Three Dragons, Yoke of Suffering, Xerfi's Heart. Uh, the last one I have here, and there may be more, but these are the ones that I have thought of, um, is Storm's Gift. Storm's Gift, enemies you kill are shocked. So when you're just mapping, you're going to go ahead and do this. Now, the thing about the Auto Bomber is you will need something for bosses, um, but all you need is anything that can hit. So as you guys can see, I just run a Storm Brand. And you want the storm brand to either be roughly half a second for its uh, trigger frequency uh, or uh, 0.34 seconds. So I have 0.37, which means I'm going to be a little bit inefficient here. Although I think I have, yeah, I have cooldown recovery rate. So my cooldown is 0.88 seconds. Ideally, that means I would want my tr uh, trigger rate to activate every 0.44 seconds to make sure that I'm hitting exactly on cooldown. So it's gonna, I'm going to lose some boss DPS unless I sync those up properly. But yeah, you want to get that as uh, close as possible to trigger around the time that the fire burst would come off cooldown for single target. That's very important. But yeah, um, to go back to explaining Storm's Gift... Um, yeah, you just, you kill the enemies, they're shocked, and you trigger, trigger Herald of Thunder. Uh, it's very, very easy. Uh, it has shock proliferation, which means you'll continue to shock. It has some damage over time, so, and uh, some synthesis modifiers, so there's a lot of stuff going on with that too. Uh, damage over time means it's probably a little bit better for the Ignite version. Um, and if you are doing the Ignite version, this allows you to do it on like a Chieftain. Um, oh, and I just want to note, all the other ones, you can do those on other builds that are not crit. You just have to get your shock chance to uh, close to 100%. So, for instance, if I wanted to do Yoke of Suffering here, um, 
my elemental damage can shock. It's only going to shock if either it crits or it rolls the shock chance. You get a native 10% shock here. Uh, you can get like shock chance from the tree. For instance, you get some from uh, this 10% chance to freeze shock and ignite. Um, you want to get your shock chance close to 100% if you're using one of these and you're not going crit. So say you wanted to go uh, chieftain to get some of the stuff from that, you would have to get some shock chance. You can get shock chance on items, you can get it on like jewels. There's a lot of different ways to get shock chance. So you have that option available. Um, so yeah, and of course you have like the shock chance up here, but it scales lightning damage. Um, and since you're mostly going to be scaling fire damage, unless you have, uh, for instance, stuff like this that gives lightning damage to spells, uh, just to show how good the damage effectiveness is, I have like, I have five to seven lightning damage to spells on this, and then I have a couple of jewels with like kind of bad lightning, uh, damage, like tier two lightning damage to spell rolls on them. Oh, that's not one of them, but yeah, I do, I do have a few of them in various parts of my tree. I have one down here. I believe that's also a tier two. Yeah. So just to give you an idea, we are doing a pretty similar amount of lightning damage with just a few of those as the fire damage we're doing. So damage effectiveness for this builds off the charts. I think there's a ton of potential. Um, I guess I've probably gone on long enough about this and you get the idea, but those are all of the items. This has been Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming, and I will see you next time. Bye!